Hi everybody. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today I need to get my pantry stacked up with just a ton of goodness for our family. I am still feeling under the weather and when I did my pantry reorganization downstairs, I realized I only had one can of canned chicken left, which is like our main go-to quick and easy dinner meals. Um, and I was very, very low on chicken soup. So chicken soup is something I grab all the time. And on days like today when I just, I need it. <laughs> I need it for the nourishment to feed my soul. So I pulled out four of our chickens that we grew last year on our property and I'm gonna get these roasted. Um, it is my favorite way to can chicken pre-roasted um, and also I'll use a couple of these for some uh, restocking of homemade chicken soup. So I'm just gonna go through the process today um, on roasting my chickens. I'll bring you guys back um, in a later video for canning the chickens up and um, then canning the chicken soup will be another video. So let's get to preparing these for roasting. So these are all around um, the seven pound mark. We're very fortunate that we are able to grow pretty decent sized chickens. Um, our smallest chicken is usually around six pounds. I'll try to do a better job this year um, when we do raise our chickens to really do a better job on how we raise them if you're interested. Vacuum seal bags really do a good job vacuum sealing these birds in. They're still just a little frozen, but that's okay. That's the nice thing about canning chicken uh, pre-roasted is sometimes, I'm just gonna share it with you. Sometimes when I'm done, um, maybe it's not to the level of doneness that you would serve a roasted chicken for a dinner meal, but it'll be done enough for further canning. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle these with some salt. pepper. And I have some sage that we grew. I'm just going to throw a few bunches in so it doesn't need the string, huh? I'm going to pop some sage in their butts. some rosemary. Now this I'm just I'm not gonna put it in their butts I'm just gonna sprinkle it in the bottom of the pan. Okay I have um, several heads of garlic so I'm just gonna smash it and throw it in their butt as well. And the great thing about all this goodness is it will go right into making the broth when I get ready to do that. Okay, I have some bags of carrots I'm going to put in the bottom of the pan. I don't have any fresh onions right now because I just had to dice all mine up, so I'm just going to use up some of my dehydrated onions. Sprinkle those in the pan for flavor. And a bag of carrots for this pan. I 
And we're just gonna, I'm gonna, I don't want it to be overpowering um, lemon, but I will put a quarter of a lemon in each chicken. Okay, you don't have to do this, but um, I like it just to rehydrate my onion bits. I'm just gonna pour in some chicken broth, just a little bit in the bottom of each jar. I won't need all this, so I will save some of this chicken broth for the soup that I'll be making. So that's everything I need to do to prep the chickens. Um, now we just need to get the oven set to 425 and pop these in for probably a couple hours. Okay, we're at 425. Time to put these birds in the oven. I'm gonna let those cook starting, and I'll start checking them at about an hour and a half. I'd imagine that they'll go at least two hours. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half now. Let's just check on them. Ooh. Looking and smelling good. Yeah, okay, so I'm just taking the legs, seeing if they pull away easy, and they do, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the oven. All right guys, don't those look great? The house smells amazing. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit, um, probably a couple hours. Once they're easy to handle, I will shred probably two of them up at least for canning purposes. The other two I will um, chop up for some good canned chicken soup. And then all the carcasses and all the yummy broth and vegetables and herbs minus the lemons will get further cooked for some chicken broth. So it's gonna take me a bit to do that, but I hope to be able to share at least um, the canning chicken video and a couple soup ideas, maybe. I'm still researching what exactly I wanna make. So thanks guys for watching. If you have some chickens in your freezer, this is a great way to, one, get some good food quick and ready, um, either on your dinner table or to have quick and easy meals and prepped on your pantry shelves. Talk to you guys later and thanks for watching.